I think this is a great thing to work on because a lot of times as guitar players, as we get better and better, we get kind of into this concept of a chord is a chord and my hand gets stuck there and then soloing is a whole nother thing and my hand moves around. Whereas I took the Jimi Hendrix principle of like a chord is a solo and a solo is a chord, kind of that like you can open things up. And so these are all just Jimi Hendrix embellishments. You know, wagon wheel is just, you know, head down south through the land of the pines, coming my way into North Carolina. Up for all of this, oh, I see headlines. You know, we all know that song. It's a, it's honestly, it's, it's a good song. It's just a little bit played out, kind of like a lot of the, the classics. So rather than do it the typical bluegrass way, I took it and was like, what if Jimi Hendrix had to play this? So again, he's going to hang his thumb down there, and instead of playing a G chord, he's going to think these, if you haven't seen this one, it's, it's in several Hendrix songs. So that's thinking of this shape here, going for those two notes, but knowing that the second degree of the scale, the A, is back there giving us great lick to know that fits on any bar chord like this. Then the chord goes to D. And when Jimi Hendrix sees a chord like this, he's going to play a major pentatonic scale. Or some variation thereof. So he's, you know, in my mind, he would probably do something like That's a big Hendrix thing. If you don't know that, he doesn't go. He leaves this one flat and very gingerly gets his giant fingers to get it so that hammer on only catches that D string and not that note. And that's our D chord. Uh, then it goes to E minor is around here, and I think I did like a, which is, I'm thinking of a minor scale, or not sorry, a minor pentatonic scale there. Uh, because minor pentatonic, aka blues, always works for a minor chord. I stuck that note there and stood there just because it's more fluid. Then it's going to go to a C chord. That's the same thing as the G chord, just up here. Which you can also... Then let's see, it goes back to G, D, now the song doesn't go to the E minor the next time it goes right to a C, C is here, so I did a little walk down there because there's C, and there's C major pentatonic, so I know that that inversion is available to me. So, yeah. The, the overall concept I'm trying to get across is, you know, you've, if you're watching my channel, you're probably pretty good at guitar already. You may have learned Little Wing already. The concepts in that song are not just for that song. Therefore, the rest of your life, anytime you encounter um, bar chords of any variety, those tricks and those embellishments, you can use them again. And yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be really nice. And yeah, get us away from the... Which has its place. It's just 
a different way to think of things and a different way to bend the genre around a little bit and kind of get new sounds um, to kind of think, what would Hendrix do? What would like an R&B guitar player do with this, this chord progression? By the way, anything you see on my channel, I could, I could send you tabs for it um, if it would help you out. Sorry, that was loud. Uh, if it would help you out, I could send tabs for a small fee. And uh, you, could, you could contact me through my email or my website. And I'd be more than happy to help you with your studies of guitaring. Uh, have a good one.